Hi, this is Rue Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're going to be talking about how to body test and what should you be body testing for. So body testing is really a way for you to kind of get answers from inside you. And kind of the best way to put it is a lot of times when we ask ourselves like, should I buy this or should I do this? A lot of times we're thinking with our head, you know, I'm saying like mentally like, oh, it'd be great to have this or it'd be nice to have that or whatever it is. But we're not really thinking about like the long term energy uh, stuff with it. So one of the things that I love to do is literally class one first thing I teach all of my students and sometimes I even teach it at some of my group readings I teach everybody how to body test because it's a great way to get your own intuitive answers for yourself and so that's kind of the best part about learning how to body test so body testing is that important I know it's like really yes it's that important so a couple of things to kind of keep in mind is when you're body testing is you want to stand uh, feet hip width apart and I often tease my students of like you don't want to stand like a cowboy like legs wide 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 out and you don't want to stand like a lady because then you're kind of like a pendulum but if you stand at a great um, hip width apart at your feet you're going to be in this really stable energy so one of the things I'm going to do is this um, stone is just going to to um, um, be my demonstration one. So what you also want to do is right at the bottom of your chest is where your heart chakra is and you can poke around in that area and find it and it really does like when you hit it you're like oh it really hurts um, but what you would do is place the stone in that area kind of right over where your heart chakra would be and what you want to do is breathe from your nose to your belly button and all the way back out before you do anything. And this is kind of getting us in that really amazing, like just calm energy. So it's kind of the. Then you want to ask one simple question like, is this the stone I should take home? and just relax. If you don't move around, the best thing to do is just take another breath and ask the question again. Should I take this stone home? And you'll see right there, I can feel it kind of like pulling me forward. So I'm gonna do it from an angle so you can kind of see um, what it looks like. So if I just do this, same thing, Should I take this stone home? That's the motion I'm looking for. It is not a somersault forward. It is not a, oh my gosh, I'm about to run over myself going forward. <laughs> it's not that. It is a very simple, easy push forward. Now I'm going to grab a different stone and I'm going to place it right where the other one was, feet hip width apart. Breathe from my nose to my belly button. Should I put this stone outside? And I get a back motion. So I'm going to show you from the side. Breathing. Should I put this stone outside? That's the motion. That's all it is. It's not a huge back clip or anything else. So that's kind of the easy ways to learn how to body test. And I will tell you what you're really doing is getting in touch with your intuition inside of you. What is your soul want you to do? Um, and this is something that I, like I said, I teach my students all the time. This is like number one, even my advanced students, if I ask them to body test something, they're like up and in that energy and they're doing it. Kind of the hard part or the quirky part about it is you can only ask one question at a time. So you kind of get like a little frustration there. So it's like, I want to ask more questions. I want to ask this. And a lot of times like people will get 
like partial answers or something like that and they don't really get a full answer. If you're in body testing mode and you start moving left to right or you kind of start doing circles, it means that you're asking a question that's unclear. They're kind of telling you like, no, nah, that's not working for me. What you've got to do is ask one clear question. And a lot of times that breath should be helping you kind of clear out your mind of kind of like what's going on or what else is going on. Like I need to take this at work. I need to do this. I need to go here. I need to pick this up. All that kind of stuff that can just be overwhelming. So when you take that breath, kind of clear your mind for just literally like half a second of just like, and then ask your clear question. The easier this comes um, to some people than others, but I guarantee you it takes time to do this. It's one of those, like it takes time to learn how to do this. And I often tell my students, usually between like the first time you do it till about the 20th time you do it, you're gonna have to hold the item literally right at your heart chakra. You're, it's not gonna go anywhere else. After that, you may be able to hold it like just close to you and be able to do it that way. And until about like 20 to 40 times, like another, you know what I'm saying, another 20 times that you've done it. And then um, after that, you can hold it a little bit further away, a little bit further away. And then my advanced students can literally, uh, like I can just like literally put your hand over an item. Like, should I get this book or should I uh, pick this up or whatever it is. So that makes it so much easier when you learn how to body test, when you are learning how to body test, it's really important to take your time, clear your mind, take a deep breath, and ask one clear question at a time. That is the best way to learn how to body test and get in touch with your own inner intuition and what your angels and guides want you to know about it. What does your soul want you to know about that item? That's what they're telling you. Like, yes, it's a good thing for you or no, it shouldn't be. And a lot of times, um, I'm not wearing a necklace today because I was body testing, but usually I will body test my necklace that I put on for the day. I will body test that and ask, is this the necklace I require today? It's a couple of things that I love doing um, every day. And body testing is something that most my students, most of the people that have been around me will body test several times a day, depending on what's going on with them. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.